So, who are you looking for? What are you looking for? Of course I know what today is. Today is Monday, June. It's not just any old Monday. Thank you for reminding me. No, I didn't completely forget. Just stay there, don't move, and don't forget to floss after you brush. Hey, what's that in your hands? Well, I'll tell you. This is Nirvana's first album, Bleach. And I'm sure you're saying to yourself, what's so significant about that? Well, two things. Number one, this is the first album from Nirvana. Number two, this is the first album from the best band in the world, period. And number three, today marks the 32nd anniversary of Bleach being released to the public. It was released June 15th, 1989. And on that day, society was pushed in the direction of how society should be like, like in the fifth element. So sooner or later, we will get there. Bear with me while I read this track listing of these masterpieces. Blue Floyd the Barber about a girl, school, love buzz, paper cuts, negative creep, scoff, swap meat, Mr. Mustache, sifting, big cheese, and downer. If you haven't listened to this today, you should. If you haven't listened to this any day, you should, because it's Nirvana. Like I said, it's not any old Monday. Um, I, I wish I could play the entire album for you, but I don't have a record player, and I don't, uh, I don't trust YouTube to <laughs> not flag down my goddamn video. So yeah, oh, what's all that other memorabilia? Well, let me show you. I also have, in your the 2013 mix. Um, I'll just read you the track listing really quickly. Serve the Servants, Scentless Apprentice, Heart Shaped Box, Rape Me, Francis Farmer Will Have a Revenge on Seattle, Dumb, Very Ape, Milk It, Penny Royalty, Radio Friendly Unit Shifter, Tourette's, and All Apologies. Damn. I really wish I had a record player. I also have Live at Reading. I'm not going to read the track listing because it's way too many songs, but needless to say, man, I wish I could have been at all their concerts. I wish I was like born. Let's see. Well, I'd still be young if I was uh, born in 79. So I guess 69 would have been a good. No, wait. No, no, I'm, I'm right. 69. Because 79, 89, I'll be 20. And then, you know, four more years before, you know, so I'd be old enough. Yay, American education system. All right. Um, what else do I have? I also have two of their concerts on DVD. MTV Unplugged in New York and Live at Reading. Now, listen, everyone has this in their collection. If you don't have this in your collection, is it... Even a collection, I doubt it. Such classics. I'm not going to read the track listing, but just watch the damn video. And live at reading, like I said, there's just something about just watching it play out. It's on a, it's on a whole nother level. And there's a guy for most of the concert who's just like flailing around and thrashing on stage. And it's like, number one, I want what you're on. And number two, I want to be that guy because he gets to just hang out with the best band in the world. So, like I said, watch all that. So that's it, you know? I just wanted to tell you about today, specifically June 15th. It's not just any Monday. Um, and if you haven't listened to Nirvana today or in a while, shame on you. Do that today and every day, because why not? So... You can exit where you came in, and I'm going to go floss now. Yep.